algal bloom in Lake Erie still looms large. That's according to Lucas County Commissioners. And today, the county and the city of Toledo filed a joint federal lawsuit against the EPA. They're asking for better measurements of fertilizer runoff and regulations of factory farms. New at 6, 13 Action News reporter Tony Geftis has reaction from one farmer. Tony. Diane and Lee, that farmer is concerned this lawsuit against the EPA will give agriculture a bad rap. He does not want the blame to fall squarely on farmers like him who are taking steps to reduce runoff. Jason Wanamaker is a third generation farmer in Fulton County. We raise corn, beans, a little bit of wheat and potatoes. He also raises a total of 3,000 hogs each year. Since Toledo's water crisis in 2014, Jason says he's taken steps to reduce the amount of fertilizer runoff from his farm. Fertilizer, whether it be manure or commercial fertilizer, it's costing a farmer money. And I, I don't I don't want to be dumping my money down the drain. Uh, so clearly I don't want runoff as much as anybody else. But who is really tracking this animal waste? Lucas County Commissioners say more needs to be done. They filed a joint federal lawsuit along with the city of Toledo against the U.S. EPA. That lawsuit seeks more regulations of industrial livestock facilities and better tracking and measurements of phosphorus runoff. So they say they've created one, but it's a yardstick with no markings on it. Toledo's mayor said the level of phosphorus in Lake Erie is no different than it was in 2014. The commissioners in Lucas County where are you getting this information from? Jason says he's concerned this lawsuit will sway public opinion against farmers in general. He does not want the blame to lie solely with agriculture. Since 2014, have municipalities dumped less sanitary into the creeks and rivers and streams? I mean, I, I, I can't even find that number. I mean, I, I've, I've asked, but nobody wants to answer that question. In the cities, we are told you can only, so much can come out of that pipe. And you have to measure it every day. And if it goes over that, you have to do something about it. We just want the same things for other people who are producing more waste than you see out of the city of Toledo every year. For now, this lawsuit against the EPA will play out in court while the city, county, and farmers wait to see whether it will bring change. I reached out to the EPA for comment on the lawsuit. A spokesperson emailed me. EPA received the lawsuit from the city of Toledo and is currently reviewing. Addressing the problem of algal blooms in the western basin of Lake Erie will take all of us. It will take unflagging commitment and resolve, and it will take time. So will there eventually be sweeping reforms? We will be watching. Diane? All right, Tony, thanks.